Hello everyone, um, welcome to uh, this video. So, today I'm going to be unboxing a plant that I've wanted for a very long time. This is a Cape Sundew. This is the albino variety, so it's going to be very pretty. Um, so anyway, I've always wanted to have one of these plants, and let's get to the video. So, for my younger viewers, and I definitely know I have them, do not use a knife without parents' permission. So we're just going to open this. Very gently, because we don't want to break the plant. So I'm just going to pause the recording real quick and um, uh, open the box. So we'll be right back. Right, so I have it open. And um, the camera is out of focus, so I'm going to get this like this. And here we go. So I have another one of these. And yes, as expected, there is some sphagnum moss in there. So I'm going to get this bucket of water that I have just in case I needed it. And gently, just being careful not to break anything important such as the plant. There's the name on the name tag. Um this is an albino variety. So I see it and let's take it out together. So here's the plant. Now that is a very nice little plant to have. Ooh, it's actually a little pink. That's pretty cool. So this is going to be a very, very nice addition to my collection. So I'm going to, so I'm going to moisten the sphagnum moss in. We'll get this out of the bag. All right. So um, uh, I got the sphagnum moss moistened, and um, as you know from last video, which should be appearing right up here in a few seconds, um, either way, there was a lot more moss than this. So here's the plant, and we're going to move the moss aside. I'm going to zoom in a little. Alright, that's perfect. And take it out of the bag. Alright, so here's the sundew plant. Um, this looks very nice. So if I can just get the camera to focus, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Right, there we go. It's not perfect, but it'll do. So here's the um, sundew plant. It's very nice. It has a nice pinkish color to it. And there's no dew on the leaves at the moment, but hopefully when I get it into its place, it should start making some dew. So where did I put that pot at? Oh, there's the pot. So this pot, I'd say, will be big enough for it for, I don't know, maybe a year or two. Well, not a year or two, but hopefully for a while. So now I'm going to unwrap the sundew and I don't I'm not gonna break up the roots I'm just gonna kind of do this a little bit because I'm very nervous about repotting this plant in particular because I've never owned a sundew before but I did watch their I mean I didn't watch the video but I did read the paper about how to repot the sundew but I'm a little bit nervous about it so just going to do it like this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it closer up. And I'm just going to put this plug of moss right in here. And just fill it up with moss. I'm trying to keep it nice and centered. Right, we're getting the last bit of moss inside. And perfect. So where I'm going to put this is right next to my Nepenthes collection. And oh, I just realized the camera was out of focus the whole time, so sorry about that. So I'm going to put this right next to my Nepenthes. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this video, I suggest that you watch my, um, uh, new visitors playlist. It has my newest videos. So, um, if you like this video, leave a like, and, um, uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone.